Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody emailed me just a little while ago wanting to know how to draw an umbrella, and they sent me a clip art, and I actually traced it, and traced really good. It, it's got a few problems that could be fixed, um, jagged edges, but that could be done. So I drew one, and I just thought, you know, a lot of times it's more fun to draw one and make it your own. So I'm going to start out with a circle. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. Smaller circle, hit P, put it in the center of the page. And my circle is 1.5, so I'm going to make my nudge factor 1.49 because I want them overlapping just a little bit. So I'm going to go Control D, I'm going to move it, nudge it over, Control D again, nudge it over. And a lot of times you'll learn that right there, grab off the circle, Control D, whoop. Control D, well, sorry about that, Control D, Control D, get your Smart Fill tool, and you can change this right here, you could, you could move it down a little bit, but I'm going to leave it right there, get your Smart Fill tool and fill it in, there's your top of your umbrella, already done that quick, let's get rid of this stuff, let's, uh, get our umbrella and put P and put it in the center of the page, left click, right click, let's get a, just a thin rectangle, put P, put it in the center of the page, holding down the control button so you'll go, it'll stay in position, let's make it a little bit further down, then that looks like the letter J, so the time it would take you to draw that, just take and make a letter J. And you could go through your all your fonts and find one that maybe more looks like a handle. I've made it a little bit too big. But let's left click, right click. You want your handle to be a little bit more pronounced. I'm thinking, I mean, that's the way the clip art was. Still a little bit too big. Bring it and get it in the center of that. So we're a little bit not big enough. Now is where you want to change your nudge factor back to 0 .001 or something close. Let's zoom in here and grab our shape and let's just nudge over. And if you want to speed it up a little bit, hold down the shift key and I'll speed it up a little bit. Go back a little bit more. Take these two items and weld them together. Get rid of that part. Now you could weld that, but just since we've already done a weld, let's just do the virtual segment delete key. And then all you have to do is use your smart fill tool to fill it in with black. That will seal all your, basically seal all your joints. And there is you a clean, vectorized, drawn umbrella. Now I've got a little bit, maybe I should have had my circles up top a little bit more. Um, but then there's a, a part on the top that maybe give a little bit of detail. Let's uh, left click, right click. Let's grab our shape tool. Let's, uh, let's see what happens if we add a node. That's going to be too many, too much work. So what we can do is take our shape tool and just double click on your line, pretty close. Grab that middle node. Let's do this, let's select them all and turn them all into a cusp so the other line will not change. Then you could actually bring this in a little bit more And if I was going to do this for real, I would probably uh, split the umbrella in half. And that might not even be tall enough. It's hard to say when you're zoomed in and out. Let's just bring it up a little bit. Let's bring these out. And I'm just doing it for the, for the sake of the video. Then get your Smart Fill tool again and fill it in. And then you have the little part of the, the nub of the umbrella. And there you go. I hope that helped them a little bit.
and thank you for watching.